Hello, my friends. Welcome to the number three tool that we're looking at in terms of the theme of looking at how do we give voice feedback back to our students um, to make our lives better as educators, to give the feedback more meaningful, where kids can hear our voice, can hear our expressions of what they're used to when they get to see us face to face within the classroom. The first tip we took a look at using voice memo, voice recorder, the, the applications that are all already installed on your device. And then we took a look at the tool of talk and comment. And now this one, we're going to take a look at moat. And so this one, you're going to start to see some similarities, but this one does a couple things pretty awesome that's a little bit different from the other ones for you to kind of think about. And what you're going to find here is hopefully you're realizing one's not better than the other. Just Some of these might be a personal choice. Some of these might actually be more benefit to what your kids need. And so maybe you find yourself using one of these or maybe using several of these depending on your needs. So this one, when you search in the store for Moat, voice commenting for Google Docs, you're going to find this one and it is the purple with the M. It's going to ask you to activate your microphone when you get into Google and ask for permission. But what you're going to find here is it's they're rolling out some new updates. This one's relatively new, so they're working on getting this more embedded into the classroom where you can use this as an announcement and things like that. It's not quite ready for that, but it already does some really amazing things. So let's take a look at it. We're going to use the same document that we've been using so far in the previous example of this paper that I that I wrote and so we saw how to embed the the voice menu we dragged it to the drive with the voice memo voice recorder sharing that link as a comment we then looked at using the talking comment where it just kind of built that play button right into the comment as, as we were speaking and now the same type of thing here remember I would still encourage you to make these comments of your talking points so kids have a reference because it's just voice so Let's go ahead and, and take a look at, at this comment here, this talking point too. Um, I don't know, let's just go ahead and click here. So when I have the Moat extension installed and I go to add a comment here, you're going to see that it's now going to add over here, this purple. And when I click on it, I get 60 seconds. So you're limited in how long you can talk. So this one might be one where as opposed to typing in talking point one, talking point two, I'm just going to give my audio right where that talking point is as opposed to one big long one that maybe we do with the talking comment. And so all you got to do, uh, once your microphone is activated, you'll see the purple microphone. That's when you know it's activated. It may tell you to have to refresh your browser. But when you go to hit this, you're going to see this. And I'm just going to go Test, test, one, two, three, coffee is delicious. I can hit that button or hit done. Then you can see that it gives you this little comment. Click to hear or read my voice note. I'm going to hit enter. Now, remember, this is where I would obviously attach it to the person so they get the update. All right, I'm going to hit comment here. But this is what I, I think is pretty sweet. It automatically does a transcript of the audio. So I could play. You're going to see this. I'm just going to go test, test, one, two, three, coffee is delicious, right? I, so I can listen to it and I can read it. Now for me, I could go in and edit this transcript. So just in case that it's not perfect and I need to clean it up, I could. But it automatically does it and it actually does a pretty good job at the transcript. So this is something that the talking comment option didn't have that you might find really helpful. It works really well in the doc and it also works really well within a, a Google private comment or giving feedback on work. They're going to expand more of this in the classroom, but right now I could do the same thing if I were to go into, this is me as a student, and I go down here to this private comment, I could do the same thing right here. And I could start to say, hey, really great job on your assignment today. Keep up the great work. I'm looking forward to seeing where your learning goes next. And so it's going to do the same work here in this private comment as well as a private message. And so I can see that it works here as well as within a document or a slide. I believe, it was, see, what do they say here? Let's just double check. So I'm giving you the right information. At the time of this recording, docs, classroom, slides, and sheets. So yes, we've, we've got those options there. Okay, so another really cool thing that the Mo extension provides is if I'm typing in a Mo, um, a comment here and I'm not doing the audio piece, the moat still works. I can say I am so, and then if I type in colon, 
and I start typing the next two letters of an emoji, I could start to see these different emojis that I could add um, to my thing. So um, so I could start to add comments with emojis built in. So all you're going to do is, again, you're just going to type in colon, and then the next two letters of what it is that you're looking for, I could add a dinosaur, whatever it might be, and I could add that as well. So that's pretty sweet um, as well for us to use. So you can do the audio, which is a transcription, adds it right in. It works as private comments in Classroom. You can also do the emojis. And so the other last thing is when you go to paste in a link like oh like I just did here you can see what moat does it starts to go through and it will transcript sort of the article right away here for you and it will clean up the give you an image it'll give you information so it's not just a link it kind of gives you a um, a sample of what's to come. So Mo automatically does that, which is really nice. Without that, it would just would have I just would have pasted a link. It just would have been a link I would have to say like, hey, click here. Now look how it kind of builds that out for me. So this extension is more than just voice. It gives you voice, it transcripts your voice, you can add emojis, and when you add hyperlinks into resources, it kind of gives you that preview page. So definitely one more for you to think about um, as you explore and tinker around with these extensions this week. Once again, just trying to figure out what's the best tool for you, and this is where maybe coming back to Extensity, where you maybe turn some of these on and off depending on what it is that you need. All right, my friends, I hope you have found this helpful. I hope it's giving you a lot of food for thought, and hopefully you're finding something that's going to be useful for you as, as a teacher, as giving feedback, and also to help benefit your students. As always, my friends, remember, stay awesome. Peace.